So what's up everybody? Today in this video we are going to see how we can build a simple ATM system in C programming language. So without further ado, let's start our programming. Here as you can see I have included three header files. The first one is standard input output.h, second one is windows.h and the third one is time.h. Now let me first define the variables that we are going to be using in this program. Let me first define all the variables and I will explain it to you once I finish defining it. first variable is pin and I have initialized the value to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this pin will be the default pin of the user and this inter pin is used to store the value of the pin number that is given by the user and we will check the value of the inter pin is equal to the this pin or not. Okay, the another variable is option. This option stores the value of the option that we are we are going to provide the to the user okay these options can be querying the balance depositing the money or withdrawing the money from the atm and another variable is count i have initialized a zero this count is used to keep the track of the how many time the value the user entered the invalid pin if the user entered the invalid pin for more than three times then we are going to terminate the program Another variable is amount and I initialize it to the one. Okay, this amount is, is going to be the amount that is entered by the user to whether to withdraw the money or to deposit the balance to the bank. Okay, the another variable is balance, it is a floating value, and I have set a value to the 5000. This is going to be the initial balance of the user. Another integer value I have defined is continued transaction. The continued transaction is used. To keep track of whether the user want to continue the transaction further or to abort the transaction so okay we are also going to decorate the console output so me first change the color of the console output as you uh, know that the default color of the console is black we are going to change the color of that console okay not the value change the color just so we have a system function and we are going to provide color and the value of that color i will be giving it as 3f the third value 3f refers to the aqua blue okay so let me see whether the whether the console color is changed or not press f11 to compile and execute okay as you can see the color of the console is changed to the aqua blue color now let me first show the date and time at the top of the console okay for this i am going to define a variable of type time okay now we have time function that will return the current date and the time okay now let me print it to the screen the date and time is written as a string values so we have to write here percentage s okay now let me see whether it's correct or not okay as you can see here the current date and time error is shown in the console okay now let me move it to the center of the screen and let me first print it to the new line and let me give some skip sequence here the slash t is the vertical tab that will give you five spaces okay and let me give some spaces and let me check it so as you can see it is okay it is in the center right okay now let me print Welcome to ATB and okay, I am 
going to copy this value here. Let me compile this. Okay, as you can see, it has come to the center. Okay, now let us first take the input from the user, and the input is going to be the pin number. Okay, so uh, we are going to take the pin number until the user input the correct pin number. If the user X gives the invalid pin number for more than three times, three or more than three times, then we are going to terminate the program. So for this, we are going to use the while loop. Okay. So while the pin that we define is not post the enter pin that is uh, given by the user, we are going to print the message. Okay. And we are going to scan the <coughs> value as person D and person pin. Okay, now we are going to check if the enter pin is not opposed to the pin number, then that is if the pin is invalid, then we are going to produce a beep sound, and this can be done using diff function okay so the diff function takes the two argument the first argument is the frequency of the sound and the second argument is the duration in millisecond so let me put the frequency to 610 and duration to 500 millisecond and we are going to print the message as invalid sorry typo invalid pin let me see whether it is working or not okay now let me keep the incorrect value and put it so as you can see it produces the beep sound and shows invalid pin okay okay this is an invalid pin okay let me again iterate so invalid pin yeah it is working right and if i give the correct pin then it is also working okay now let me define the count okay so let me increment the count value here okay one time the enter um, user enter the pin number then we will increase the count value by one okay and let me check if the value of the count equals to three and still the pin value is not because the enter pin then we are going to terminate our program okay so let me check it okay let me enter the pin invalid pin first invalid pin right again okay as you can see after the three times the program is term terminated automatically okay now let me try with the correct pin that is one two people yes that it is working right so it is done okay now okay let me uh define another while loop okay while continue transaction is not equals to zero okay that is we are go going to continue transaction until the user presses presses zero okay now let me show some options the, the option that is going to be available for the user to perform right so print f i am going to print it on a new line let me give some vertical tabs okay now let me get this and uh, let's say available sorry typo transactions okay and let me the first option the let me give it give it double lines okay and give the vertical tab let me give two vertical tabs here okay and the one number option will be withdraw okay right. another option that we are going to use is going to be deposit and 
Let's see. We will first enter the incorrect pin. Okay, do it. It shows invalid pin. Let me now put the correct pin. Oh, sorry. I think there is some mistake here. Okay, I think the problem here is that uh, we haven't taken the value continue transaction from the user, so it is has gone to the infinite loop. So let me remove this. Uh, I will be um, implementing it in the last. Okay. So let me check this. Okay, you can see it is working. Available transaction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. As you can see, it is not in center now. Let me first take the input from the user, okay? Print app uh, Let me let the double space and give one vertical there Please select the option Okay, scan app Okay, we have already defined this variable option here so you can see uh, yeah, it is here right now okay the user can either choose one two or three as an option okay so for this we are going to use the switch statement okay switch case switch we are going to switch the value option okay case one we enter user press the one as an option okay so uh, the f if the user press the option one then the option is further withdrawing the money okay uh, as you can notice in the atm that if um, we enter the value that is not the multiple of 500 then we cannot get the balance out of money from the atm so it shows the error okay so the value should be the multiple of 500 so we are again going to use a while loop and in this case the while loop is going to run until the amount entered by the user is not a multiple of 500 okay so while for the amount modulus of 500 that is the reminder of the amount divided by 500 is not equals to zero okay until the user entered the amount that is the multiple of 500 so the message here as Enter the amount okay, if the modulus or the remainder of amount is not equals to zero. We are going to display an error message as the amount should be multiple of what 500 okay okay now another one case here could be if the user entered amount that is less than the available balance okay that is if balance is less than the amount then we are going to display an error message okay as sorry and balance okay and we are going to set the amount value again to one okay uh, we have initialized amount value to one here once the user entered the amount the value of amount is overwritten right and then again for taking the value here okay we have to reset the value of the amount to one uh, otherwise it will take the garbage value okay okay this is done after that we are going to break this okay okay now else okay if the user entered a correct value right then what we have going to do else if the balance is greater than the amount we are going to reduce that 
it is the amount from the balance right and we are going to display the message as you have run rupees percent b here new balance is version point two okay so it's going to be amount and balance and we are going to again reset the value to one and break it okay so what i have done in here is i have reduced the amount that is entered by the user from the main balance okay and i have inter uh, i have displayed the message as you have withdrawn rupees percent d okay the percent d is of this amount and your new balance is percentage dot 12 okay the dot 12 or point 12 means that we, uh, since the balance is the floating value okay we are going to display the ba balance and we are going to display the balance up to two decimal places okay so if the balance is 5000 then it's going to it is going to display as 5000.00 okay if we don't put dot 2f then it is going to display as 5000.50 okay decimal 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right okay so let me check it is working or not yes 11 let me enter it again okay option one Rachel. okay let me enter the amount as say 200 it is not a multiple of 500 so it must show that error so it is showing the error the amount should be multiple of 500 right so let me um, pre, uh, put it as 1000 that is the multiple of 500 then so it has displayed that you have withdrawn rupees 1000 right and in your balances 4000 our initial balance was 5000 that we have defined and it reduces rupees 1000 from our main balance and displaying the remaining balance okay so it is working fine now let's move to the case 2 that is if the user presses case 2 to deposit the balance i'm going to display the message as this enter the amount right okay let me scan the value of the amount so in this case we have to increase the value of the balance okay so we have to do balance equals to amount okay balance equals to balance plus <coughs> amount right and again we are going to reset the value of amount to one Let's print the messages. Right, you have deposited rupees percent D. Here, you have is percent to a okay. amount. Right, and we are going to break it right so why, why we are, we put the break statement here if this case is true right then we are going to perform this operation and we did not need to perform the another case because uh, the case matches this one okay so we have to break this state okay so for let me check whether it is working or not i have got an error here let me see what the error is second column is missing here let me compile this okay let me enter the pin so deposit the balance uh, let me deposit 10,000 rupees uh, 10,000 sorry it's showing some error here okay let me see what's the error is i have reset this value to the one so let me cut it and paste it here okay now let me see is it working or not let me enter the pin project let me deposit 10,000 again yeah, it is working right now. You have deposited rupees 10,000, your new balance is 15,000. Okay, this is working. Uh, let me uh, add another statement here. Print and add. Thank you for banking with ADB. Okay. 
Okay, okay, let me see. Let me deposit the balance of 5000. So, okay, so it is showing. Thank you for back to me. And you will learning nice. Okay, let me keep here another vertical tab one. Okay, and let me copy this and paste it here. So, okay, let me check it. Okay, nice. It is working right. You have returned rupees 5000 in your balances. Case 1 and 2 is done. Okay, now let me move on to the case 3 that is for query balance. Okay, this is the simple case. We have to simply print this statement as your balance is rupees. Break it, okay. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Two balance. Your balance is okay. I think uh, there is some mistake here. Oh, sorry. This have to be outside of this inverted comma, right? So let me check it once more. Two, three, four. Check the balance. Yes, the balance is rupees five thousand point zero zero. Right? It is working now. So. As you know, uh, there is the one default case in the switch case statement, right? If the user entered a value other than the given options, right? So in this case, that is going to be the invalid option. Let me print that invalid option. Okay, and let me produce the bit sound here also. So we use the big function frequency 610 and 500 millisecond, right? So let me check this. Copy to work. One, two, three, four. Let me enter option five. Okay, it is working, right? Invalid option. Okay. Now this is done, right? Okay. Now uh, I am going to implement the another while loop. Okay. That was uh the first one that gave us the infinite loop okay let me uh cut all of this first okay let me cut these okay okay let while continue transaction right transaction is not equals to zero we are going to perform this okay have this that now, after that, we print the message here. Let me give some vertical tab, okay, and write a message. Do you wish to perform press one for yes and zero for Okay, and I'm going to scan the value of the continue transaction. Okay, let me see, it is working here. Yeah. Right, so compile it. We enter the pin, sorry, in my pin. Okay, it's working now. You can, as you can see, it is not showing an error that is it is not going to the infinite loop that was going at the previous level right let me check the balance okay so your balance is 5000 and it shows a message do you wish to perform another transaction okay let me press one see it is again showing this available transaction now let me withdraw the money of rupees 2000 okay it shows a message you have We've done rupees 2000 and new balance is 3000, right? And thank you for banking with ADV learning. Do you wish to perform a transition? Let me do yes and option two. Okay, enter the amount. Let me deposit rupees 5000. Okay, yeah, you have deposited rupees 5000. Your new balance is 8000. Thank you for banking with ADV learning. Do you wish to perform another transition? Let me press the option zero and you can see the program about it. So this is it i think so 
Today we built a simple ATM in C programming language. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.